Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm sharing with you a quite serious video. This is on Sim Dream development and this is a 2022 update, if you will, on their status as a company um, and that they are still stealing and reusing assets. Not all of their mods are doing this, at least from what we can find, but we'll get back into that. Um, for this proof, I'll be flashing up screenshots of, you know, 3D models and things like that, comparing both looks as well as the wireframes of them. Um, and I wanted to give a massive thank you to Discord user Flyboy. He's a 3D modeler, and he helped me out getting all of this proof and evidence and running through a ton of 3D models from all across the internet. Um, and this video would not be possible without him. So thank you so much. So before we hop into the 2022 update, I want to give you guys a brief rundown on the past of Sim Dream development. If you already know this, this video is chapter, so you can skip ahead to the 2022 info if that's what you're here for. But if you need a refresher, you don't know about it, or you just want to, you know, re-listen to it, then here you go. So Sim Dream Development is an Assetto Corsa modding group. They make paid mods and a couple free ones, but the vast majority of their mods are paid mods. And in 2021, they were exposed first by SHR Modding for stealing his car sound or their car sounds of the BMW M4 GT3 car that they put out. Eventually, Mike from Sim Racing 604 made a video covering all of the evidence and talking about Sim Dream development, which in response, they copyright striked the video as well as his channel and basically almost had it completely terminated off of YouTube. Eventually though, both YouTube stepped in as well as Sim Dream development with the mounting backlash against them, reversed their copyright claims and just tried to go back about their lives as normal and act like, to be honest, it didn't really happen. If you go on Sim Dream's website right now and you see their new goals and policies, these aren't new, they've been up here since April, but the two that we care about are all cars will have 100% scratch made assets, and the other one is that all mods with questionable assets will be removed. Now, the ones that they got exposed for did get taken down. Uh, I don't know the full list that they had, so maybe some of them are still up, but a lot of these are still F1 game rips, R Factor 1, and a couple R Factor 2 mod rips. There's a ton of information that you can find on Reddit if you want to get a full like list of everything uh, and where it's from, but they would literally need to delete their whole catalog pretty much if they wanted to honor that first policy. And now they have their F1 2022 cars and their Le Mans Hyper cars, and we'll be looking at both of these in this video today. So what I did is I went all over the internet and found some very, very questionable and very similar looking assets that I could find. The main two websites for this were Sketchfab and TurboSquid, and all of the links to both the models that have been debunked and disproven as well as the ones that have been proven, I'll link down below so you can verify all this information yourself. So this is the first one I found, which was the Alpine wheel, and I thought this one was a slam dunk. It was very, very similar looking. I know it's trying to model the same thing, but like down to switches were the exact same. So I thought this was an easy slam dunk, but it in fact was not. This is the model's 3D layout, and then this is lots of photo of the Alpine. Uh, but this is the Sim Dream one. So as you can see, the models are completely different patterns in terms of their shape. So this is not, in fact, the model, even though they look very similar. This one is a lot higher quality and has a lot more polygons, but we're gonna get into the weird polygon situation in a second with these wheels. We also had the Mercedes wheel, which I was just kind of shooting in the dark with this one. I just found it and thought we should check it, but as you can see, they are very different shapes even from the start, so nothing could really be proven with this one. I do want to note some very interesting things about the Sim Dream wheels on their 2022 cars. They have more polygons than the cars themselves. So this is what very much suggests to me that these could be ripped from somewhere else where the whole model, the whole point of the model is the wheel rather than the whole car. And that's what really shifted my focus from looking for full car models to just steering wheels. As you can see, this Ferrari has a ton of polygons on its steering wheel. And, you know, the rest of the car is a lot less, a lot less polygons, a lot lower quality. And it doesn't really make sense either. If these are fully scratch made, why would Sim Dream put so much effort into the steering wheel? I mean, yes, a good looking steering wheel is very nice, but 
there's no need to put this much polygons into the steering wheel when the rest of the car does not have that same attention to detail. This is a photo of the quick release as well. You can see just how many polygons make up the quick release compared to the rest of the car. And this whole drive shaft from here back to the steering wheel has a ton of detail. And especially this right here is very strange because why would you put so many polygons for the quick release that you're not even going to see while you're driving it? It's just something I thought I should note. We also had a look at some car models. This is an Alfa Romeo off of Sketchfab. This is the Sim Dream one, um, as well as the second photo of the Sim Dream one for the engine cover. And then this is the 3D model. Again, these are not the same. You can see right here, um, just the polygon nature of the shark fin compared to this one. Very different patterns. Um, similar shapes, of course, because again, they're trying to model the same thing. That's not what we're looking at here. We're mainly looking at patterns. Um, and that's what's really going to show if it's been borrowed from somewhere else. The side pod, as you can see, it has a ton of really weirdly shaped polygons, but this one is all just triangles right here. So yeah, Alfa Romeo, that one was cleared as well. So we also had a look at an Aston Martin car model off of Turbo Squid, and this is also not a match as well. All the green wireframes you're gonna see in this video are the Sim Dream ones, and the white ones are gonna be off of whatever the 3D model is. This first one is looking top down right here. As you can see, the patterns are quite different, especially if you look over here at this little rectangular bit. I don't know what that is exactly on the F1 cars, but different shape and different polygon count as well and the patterns over the whole car are different. So this model isn't it. There's also the engine cover as you saw. This is the like shark fin slash engine cover on the back of that Aston Martin. And then when you compare it to this one, very different, even different shapes. So that one's clear as well. So one thing that I do think is worth noting before we move on to the Maw hypercars is that all of the edges of SimDream's polygons are unwelded, which if you look at an RSS model from their FHX Evo, you'll see that the polygons are welded. If you look right here, you see all of these like diagonal, parallel, I don't know what the exact word would be, but all of these very thin polygons kind of curving up to make this edge smooth, those are non-existent on the SimDream model. Now this could just be that they don't really care about making the edges super smooth and it's just a pretty roughly thrown together model, but it could also be some evidence that they're borrowing these assets from somewhere else and kind of just assembling the car in a 3D modeler like Legos. Now I'm not gonna go out and use this as comprehensive proof saying that all of these models are stolen or at least that it's borrowing certain assets from other places. It could just be that these are very like rushed, thrown together models and that is a very good possibility but it could also be a sign that these are being stolen from somewhere else or bits and pieces of them are and again, being assembled kind of like Legos. I can't in good conscience completely clear these 2022 car models, but at the very least, I cannot find any assets from them. So I'll pass the torch on to you guys if you wanna look further into it. Now, before I show you the actual wireframes for the Lamar hypercars, I just wanna show you screenshots of them. Now, first of all, I find it funny that for all of the models except the Alpine, all of their like photos of them are at the piss blood of night. So you just can't really fully see the details of the car model because these are pretty shitty models. But as you can see Alpine, I want you to take notice of like the seams in the bodywork. This line right here, this line right here, these right here, this one right here. We come over to this. That line right there, that line right there, this is the other side of it, so the little like fuel thing or grate, whatever that is, isn't there, but that's a pretty, <laughs> I don't think I really need to explain to you the similarities, and if you go over to the Glicken house, this one is even more noticeable. Just look at the lines, mainly around this and this, like easy, slam dunk, and the fucking, and the headlights on these are even more damning. Look at like the array of them and you come over here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's shameless. These are completely ripped and these are all editorial licenses, which I will flash the screenshot up on screen. It means that you cannot sell these for commercial use. 
Same story with the Toyota. This has a little bit less like weird lines and features, but if you just take a good look at it, look at the shape, look at some of the lines, you'll see that it is in fact the same model. This one is the least like easy to distinguish, but I'll show you very clearly just by looking at the AO for the car compared to this one. So I know these images are quite blurry, but we're mainly just looking at the wireframes once again. This is the edge of the rear wing on the Alpine. And if you come over here, if you look at the lines and like how they have like arrows, I guess, kind of, that's the best way I can look at it. It's literally the exact same. If you look, you can see the diagonal lines. And it's also further proven when you go fully zoomed out and you look at this one and then you come over here and look at this, mainly look at this little like folded edge right here as well as the curvature of these polygons if you come back over and look curvature of the polygons and the kinked edges are down here the biggest dead giveaway of this are the headlights in my opinion look right here at these little like leaf shapes that's the best thing i can equate them to and you come over here literally the exact same leaf shapes exact same model it looks the exact same and the wireframes perfectly line up. This is 100% the Turbo Squid Alpine model. The two funniest ones to me are the Glickenhaus and the Toyota models because they didn't even bother rejigging the AO file. As you can see, this is the 3D model AO. Take note of where the wheel like vents are, I guess, as well as just the cockpit and the um, T-wings, shark fins, whatever you wanna call them. Come over here, shark fins, wheel grates, it's just all here. It's the exact same AO file. They did not even try at all to cover this up. And the exact same can be said for the Toyota. I don't have the full AO file, but you should just be able to tell by the T-wings as well as just all of the details around here. It's the exact same. And if you look at the full AO file for the Sim Dream, it's all here. This is, again, the GR010 that they used. It's pretty shameless. What's funny though is that the Peugeot 9X8 is actually original, or at the very least, it's not the one from Turbo Squid. If you look, this is the Turbo Squid model. Basically, just notice how it's going exactly straight up. And this one, as you can see, has curvature in it. The main reason why these are not actually the same models is because the Turbo Squid model came out after the Sim Dream one did. So I think they just didn't have a model to use. So they actually had to make one themselves or they stole it from somewhere else. Uh, but if that is stolen, I don't know where it's at. Again, I'll pass the torch on to you guys if you wanna look further into it. And what I do find actually funny and kind of sad is that if these are their own models, they actually are better than the ones that they stole. So if they just put some effort in, they would actually be not half bad. But again, that's presuming that the 9X8 they did make. I have no way to prove that. I'm just saying that it's not the model of Turbo Squid. Honestly, the thing that pisses me off most is these bullshit development previews. Again, we fully proved that the Glickenhaus was stolen. So all they do is just go onto their 3D modeling software, disable a bunch of the assets. Like if you ever used Photoshop, how you can hide assets, pretty much the same thing. And just take bullshit photos like this and try to claim that they're actually make these themselves. And what really is the stupidest thing ever, and it pisses me off even more, is that they're trying less and less, at least in their previous development previews for the Le Mans hypercars, which again are fake. They were actually like rough, just screenshots. These are 3D renders that they're trying to use. So it calls into question all of their mods because if they can clearly fake one of their development previews and one that looks more believable than this, in my opinion, that they could have actually made it themselves, like they were actually making it in a 3D modeling program, this looks even worse. They have tried even less to act like they're making real assets. And that's just the funniest part to me. So this video doesn't go into defamation territory and give SimDream an actual legal right to take this video down. I cannot say whether their F1 2022 models are stolen or not. I'm just presenting you with the facts that for the models that we did find and check, they didn't match. However, for the Le Mans hypercars, easy slam dunk, 100% the Turbo Squid models. And again, they are editorial use. That's what they're labeled as on Turbo Squid. And it literally says right there in bold text that you cannot use this for commercial purposes. So they are 100% breaking Turbo Squid TOS as well as just the law as a whole. 
So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you want a more in-depth analysis, I made a video at the same time. It'll go up at the same time as this one with the 3D modeler Flyboy. It was a sit-down interview type thing, and we went over all of the evidence that was shown here, and he goes through it a lot deeper than I did, a lot more technical terms. So if that sounds like it's for you, that video is up. It'll be in the end screen, as well as hopefully in the recommended next to this video. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, Enjoy, oh yes, a like and a sub would mean a lot. I don't know if you really enjoy this type of video. If you found this video useful and helpful, whatever, uh, a like and a sub would mean a lot. And hopefully this video uh, does not get taken down by SimDream. I promise you I will do everything I can to keep this video up forever. Um, so yeah, that's, th that's that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all hopefully in the next one. Have a good one, guys.